Lucky Boys Podcast. It's upcoming yeah. again. Yeah. yeah. The place that we got is pretty dope, too. It's like a nice, big, it's like one of those like yeah like cabinish yeah it's nice. built in the 1800s oh, early 18 like the 1810 yeah so right. it's it's pretty modern though indoor yeah, inside it's very modern yeah but it's a very, it's a historical it, building mm-hmm. yeah and then will ruined it for me he said like <laughs> yo it might be haunted and i'm like <laughs> yes, I, I was thinking like oh it's gonna be like um you know history this history there's maybe a babbling brook or something nearby and you know trails do you guys believe in ghosts Yes, I, I can't. Otherwise, well, I wouldn't be able to function. Oh I wouldn't be able to exist. I believe like, in ghosts. I think ghosts are real. Oh I how can I like, not? I feel like in the back of my mind, I'm like they're they're real, but like I can't like they're, function. They're like, like they're, that. You know what I mean? Bro, they have to be real. Do you think when when you have that uh, tingling feeling or that hair sticking at the back of your neck, do you think there's a presence there? Because that's what sometimes I I, I freak not myself all the out. Time. Maybe sometimes, but yeah. not all the time. I think, like for example, when you're cold, right? right? So that's just your body reacting. That doesn't happen right, to the often. weather. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. people get goosebumps literally because it's it's really cold, mm-hmm. right? So that's a, a normal behavior. Natural reaction. Yeah, that has nothing to do with ghosts. Uh, another one is uh, I think it's just several years of human evolution, where if, the way your body responds to a, a, a certain um, feeling, yeah. right? So you'll get goosebumps, and but I think also it also responds to something that we may not really fully understand yet more like a survival trait so if you if you feel startled or something just makes you feel creepy your hair stand up it's kind of like you ever have a dog that has a short hair dog Mm -hmm. or medium hair and when they get tense or upset with other dogs they're like right behind their neck and near their (laughs) rear end their Mm -hmm. hips their the hair would immediately spike up, mm. right? I had a couple of pitbulls, and and uh, their hairs would immediately spike up yeah. when when uh, they felt threatened mm. So, mm. or scared, I should say. So I think it's the same for us. I don't know if that's a trigger for a ghost, but if you're scared, I mean, you're gonna get goosebumps. Yeah, yes, yeah. But I do believe it's real, man. I I, uh, I had some experiences when I was a kid. Really? Yeah. So all right. So check this out. I used to live in an apartment where. <clears throat> um, prior to my family moving and this is me as a child i'm talking like four five six years old and this is a super old building like i think it's built on top of a cemetery all that like fun jazz you could put in a haunted story mm. that building represents a lot of that right so uh and it's an apartment building too so prior to us moving in the last people that lived there was two men uh two older men and they both died uh two weeks apart oh man yeah uh and they were saying like there was just a lot of they they were very troubled right so um when we moved in there i just remember that we had intense intense bad luck even as a child i could remember like the arguments in the house was very chronic um uh, bad dreams every night to the point where i was afraid to go to sleep because i would wake up in full sweats Mm -hmm. um I would, my brother told me he had uh, out of body experiences where he was hanging on a chandelier and he could see his body. I hate it. I hate it. Oh right? my God, I can't. <laughs> my sister also told me she had several nightmares that, which contain like witches. And, and it's not like the, the witches that be on a broom. It's just like you could just feel like this evil female old hag kind of uh, spirit. My dad, my dad told me, and, and here's how I know. Like when I was a kid, I was like, yo, this, I know this is true. Number one, I know my parents don't like, they don't bullshit. B- bullshit. Mm. Number two, they never want to talk about it. Mm. And I know that they experience it. So when I ask them about it, they always get really bothered. Like, hey, hey, don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. Mm. It's going to follow you home. It's gonna... I was like, yo, I really want to know. So one time I just like, I was having a drink with my dad and I was like, yo, you think ghosts are real? And he's home. He says, you, you know what? One time, so two times, he told me this two stories in that house. Mm. So he, He was having an argument with my mom. Mm. My mom made him sleep on a couch. Mm. So there you go. He's sleeping on a couch. All of a sudden, the light turns on in the bathroom. And and he looks at the bathroom and he's like, okay. (laughs) And he sees a lady, a white lady, in in like a, a nice dress. And she just turned around and smiled at him, went deeper in the bathroom, and then they just 
turn around. My dad, I was like, what did you do, dad? He just said, I closed my eyes and I just turned away. I was <laughs> like, like what's well, not happening. acknowledging not it. Happening. Right. He like, didn't want to acknowledge it yeah, yeah, or yeah. anything. So he told me that's the thing. He doesn't acknowledge it. Mm. But he said she was very nice. Mm. She looked at him. She smiled. And then she just turned around and went back into the bathroom. And then the whole light just closed by itself. And he just... I'm getting goosebumps right now. I'm, I don't I'm know getting what it goosebumps. Is. Like I'm getting full or, body chills. Yeah. Right now. The <laughs> second time. I feel like. How do you know? Hold on. This. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. No, I'm just curious. Like, how do you? He's 100. percent He wasn't dreaming. He's like 100. percent He he possibly could be. Oh, that's a that's a, a good. Of, there's a lot of like sleep paralysis yeah. things where yeah. people like you know yeah. see and they right. they can't feel, move while they're like feel they feel like they're awake but they're not actually. Mm. Right. So. That's that's a possible thing because. You know, he's he's he may be uncomfortable. He he already had an argument with my mom. Right. Maybe. And quite now possibly. He's about ladies but and everyone white, in, <laughs> white white girls in, 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 in pretty girls dresses smiling at him. He's like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a great dream. Okay. So <laughs> so then he so then um I know we had a lot of nightmarish dreams, mm. night terrors it's when we were kids mm. in that apartment. Okay, so I know that there's something so influencing in that some the, energy. Um, in Manhattan? in we manhattan met? yeah yeah in the lower east side and in, in that building um and and the second time this happened to my dad again he had an argument with my mom and he went to go sleep on the bunk bed so he was on the top and he felt uneasy during his dream he opened his eyes and there was an old man staring at him nope. in the face nope. face to face uh and I immediately thought, oh, snap, is it the old dudes that lived there prior? But they were staring at him dead in the face. There's two guys. On the bunk bed. He didn't feel anybody standing on top of him or anything. So there's no, and it's on a bunk bed, so you can't even stand up because you're going to hit the ceiling. He said, he's on a bunk bed and this, and this old man face to face with him like this. And he's just floating on top. I was like, "What did you do? Did you? I would have, I would have started swinging on him. Like that's the first thing. That's my first <laughs> reaction. The ceiling. Like, yo, get out of my face. You know. Your dad just rolls over. <laughs> so he told me he took the blanket. <laughs> And he, he took a blanket and he covered his face. <laughs> He's like, I'm not acknowledging anything. I'm just. <laughs> this isn't happening. <laughs> yep. He took the blanket and covered his face. Yep. Oh and I thought God. about it. I was like, that is a very normal like male reaction. Just mm. like I, right, I'm not. I'm already tired. You know, I'm already. You know, I would honestly sleeping. probably do the same thing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Because what else can you do if a face is right there? I like, would try to punch it. Kiss them, like you know. What I, mean? like, <laughs> I would try to punch it. I would try to hit it. <laughs> First but, thing, I would, I, would, I would go off on the offense. But would, would you th- do you think, like, if you were to react to it, then it becomes more physical? Like, it, it manifests thing. into something That's more physical. That's what my dad said. He said, because oh, like, when I told my dad. like a different dimension yeah, sort right, of a right, thing. Right, right. Yeah. yeah, so my dad oh, said, you, so don't, you don't mess with it. He said, if you're good, you don't disrespect it. Yeah. Is, is, you don't like, leave it alone. Mm-hmm. Why is it really going to mess with you? You just leave it alone. Leave it alone. I was like, mm-hmm. so that's why you did that? He goes, you just leave it alone. You just mm-hmm. leave it alone. If you're not interrupting what it's doing and whatnot, you're not, you know, being but cocky. But also they're or, staring at so you. They, Their face is... Re- they might be fucking with you. Oh that might be... if God. Maybe maybe that's a way, like, to give them power. You ever see these, like, movies where, like, they mess with you and then the more you acknowledge them, the stronger they get, the more power they build yeah, up, the more belief yeah, that yeah. you have in them, mm-hmm. they become stronger. It's like it, right? Because, like, he feeds off of the fear. Right, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. so that could... Damn, I'll be a... <laughs> I'd be a wonderful target for them. Oh my god! I would go on the offense so hard. Like, and I, and I forgot what movie I was watching. This horror film with this guy's like, the boyfriend was like, "Come on, come on, you come get me instead." Like he was super, and oh then the thing, whatever the thing was, it was, it was, uh, it was like okay, and it went, ended up like bucking him up. Oh mm. man! Yeah. Wow. Also, yeah, maybe they're they're yeah, maybe they're looking for help, and then when you once you acknowledge them. They'd be like, oh, Perhaps. finally, someone's here uh, able to Word. listen to me or understand yeah. me. But if you just look away, you know, some people have that um, sixth sense or whatnot. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. um, and good, if maybe. you acknowledge them, they're, they're probably really happy. Like, finally, someone in the the real world can, can help me mm. move on or something like that. Mm. I don't know. Did you guys ever have some type of feeling about supernatural beings, ghosts? hauntings anytime you felt scared being somewhere at a location where you felt the energy just wasn't right 